this ain't gon' get you respected. Got our own steps, got our own thoughts, got our own way of thinking, cause we know sports. We don't respect what you people say at all. We don't respect how you people comment like words. This ain't politically correct, this ain't watered down. Two fresh faces and we came to change the order now. Black Mamba bring the stats, he the brain. JB bring the hurt. Thanks for tuning in to Like Word Sports. It's the Blog Mamba. It's your boy JB. I'm gonna let me start the show off by like this, saying this. I won again. I tried to tell this man over to my left. Yo, don't say I ain't tell you. I told you. He won because he put an asterisk next to a game. I could have did the same thing. I felt the same way, but I just picked like we gonna pick a straight pick. Oh, if every week tights. I do, if every tights. week I do it. Well, if this guy doesn't play, then, then I'm. I mean, yeah, you're gonna get some extra wins off of that. But it's, it's the quarterback. He got another win. It's fine. I'm not worried. I'm not rattled. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay. Time is turning. Ain't Time turning. is turning. Oh, God, trust me. Well, let me. Uh, let's get into our first segment, yo. Um, my baller of the week, all day, Adrian Peterson. The the man balled out. Had 134 rushing yards. Two touchdowns. He looked like the young AP JB. Yeah, he he, looked good. And and the Cardinals line ain't even all that good, but he looked strong. He looked fresh. He looked, you know, like he's been resting on the bench a lot. And shout out to AP, man. I'm very, very happy to see you do your thing, especially being that you're not in the Vikings uniform anymore. And not only that, he he made the team look good. Like, yeah. Him looking good made everybody, everybody else look good. The pass game looked good. The defense looked better. So and, and you know what I that like that they needed. He he had 26 carries. So what I, what I like about that is Adrian Peterson is a, what I call a real running back. He's not a special running back. He's not a third down back. No, put him in on first, second down. And he gets better as the game goes forward. Adrian Peterson, I hope you get more hundred yard game. Shout out to you. Um, my crawler of the week is the guy that came into Minnesota to try to take over for Adrian Peterson was Latavius Murray. Cause he had 15 carries. That's a good amount of, of today um, in, in today's NFL. Especially when you split. Especially when you split him. JB, he had 28 yards. He had 1.9 yards per carry. Everyone thought that this guy coming in was going to be able to help Dalvin Cook, was going to be able to kind of get the goal line touches. He's, he's a no-show right now. Latavius Murray, you have to step it up. Nah, I know he would be out there, but anyway, I've been called it. Like, and that's why I got Jerry McKinnon. But I'm saying he's you know, Latavius Murray, you got, you got to step it up. So, well, we're going to get him on. I'm baller and crawler. Uh, my baller of the week, Le'Veon Bell. Mm -hmm. Win the arrowhead. Played good. He rushed for 179 yards. I mean, he just you can just see it. He got better and better. He really exposed that defense to a lot of things they didn't know they could do, especially with Big Ben playing so bad. But uh, yeah, Le'Veon Bell, he's showing that he's back to who he's supposed to be. He, uh, he, he, that that all season, and then that fourth, that um, uh, having no preseason, he's ready now. Yeah, he, he, he's back. He's sure. definitely back. He's showing that. And my crawler of the week, my mm -hmm. crawler of the week. Let's talk about the it. Whole offense for the Denver Broncos. Yo, y'all really made me very mad. Wait a minute, that's your team, right? I want to curse. That's my team. <laughs> okay, I'm it looks bad. First of all, mm -hmm. CJ Anderson had nine carries for 17 yards. Okay. Not good enough. Mm -hmm. Jamal Charles had five carries for 19 yards. Mm -hmm. Not good enough. Trevor Simeon threw the ball 50 times. I love Trev. He's our quarterback. But at the end of the day, that guy is not a quarterback that can throw the ball 50 times a game. He threw two interceptions. One was a pick six, which was all his fault. Right. I'm not giving him no slack. Yeah, he threw for a lot of yards. He finally threw one touchdown in the right. second half. Right. And we weren't down that much. So we only lost 23 to 10. But we didn't run the football. Like, that, you know what I mean? That's, what's that? That's 15 carries? Between two. And I mean, a couple other people got a couple carries. Right. But we had less than 20 carries right. rushing. Like, that's bad. Yo, we look. Very sluggish out the bye week. Now we got a couple injury problems. We look bad. Mike McCoy, bad play calling. Trav, bad play. Running backs, bad, bad play. Lyman, bad blocking. Like, y'all all did bad, yo. Don't do this to me no more. Yeah, Don't I do love it. Yo, I, I love I'm it. Guaranteed, I love it, yo. I guaranteed. Uh, playing around with Reg, though. <laughs> right. Being childish, which is why I wore this cartoon jacket today. Childish, childish. But, you know what I mean? And I'll... I lost my first light word sports guarantee playing around with something that we really should have went in there and blew them out. And it was home. Y'all look bad on offense. We look bad, man. It was crazy. You need to I get more it. credit to Trey. And we need to fire Brandon McManus, our kicker. Because he missed. He missed like three field goals. <laughs> 
Terrible. Don't do it no more, Denver. Yo, after this week, we don't have the same record, by the way. Remember what I said at the beginning of the year. Let's review the picks. Let's review. Let's review the games of the week. Let's yeah, review. Go ahead, because <laughs> I don't want to say something. But... Let's go. Let's review. So, yeah, we uh, last week, I mean, we, we agreed on a lot of games that we, we lost. Did. We did. Yes. Um, Starting there with was Thursday time. night. That was a good game. Yo. So you good look, game. Like, they look, I mean. What is going on with the Eagles, bro? Nah, they nice. It, it, it is what it is. They legit, right? They are legit. They, they gotta be. Cause that was a test. Thursday night. A short week. A short away. week. Versus a good a team. A good team. And, yo, every, yo, offense, defense, special teams, yo, they look real good. Yo, I hate to say this, yo. Carson Wentz looked good. He didn't look phenomenal as as. People in our own park area, tell you. but he looked really good that that night. To tell you, and you know, and I'll, I'll bring it back to what I said a couple weeks ago. The Philadelphia Eagles on third down just don't care. Give them third and ninety hundred. They're going to get the first <laughs> down, and it, and it pisses me off because to see this team who has Alshon Je- Jeffrey, who's a shell of himself right now, who's not playing well. He's Zach getting better. He's getting better. He, 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 got, he, he hasn't better. been looking like the Alshon we saw. But that's Chicago. because he. When was the last time he had a healthy season? I'm about to say he's getting better. This is what I'm also saying. Zach Ertz is looking like he's the top two tight end in the NFL. Tommy? Um, Nelson Aguilar is balling. But I called that. You did. I called you that. Did. And shout out, to, shout out to my boy Veneris. He <laughs> called it. We've been telling them. They don't want to listen to us Bravo fans, but we've been telling y'all. Well, here's the year. When I'm in the slide, you call them. When I see all them dudes doing well, me being that I played quarterback, that comes back to Carson Wentz. And I hate to I hate to give him all this credit. Don't hate. Just, just do. Just do he's, it. He's playing well, man. Because he's going to be like that. He's like that. I, I'm not. I'm not. Not Face yet. Face it. Not yet. But he's playing very well. The Philadelphia Eagles. But forget all that now. Nah, forget all that though. That defense, yo. That front seven. They come flying around. Defensive backs playing well. Darby hurt. Sidney Jones ain't play yet, and they playing good. That defense is like that. Fletcher Cox is really the guy. Yo. Those linebackers flying around, they fast, play good coverage. All right, I gave the Eagles enough credit, so I mean, they, was, I, they, I they did their thing. Do um, talk about uh, Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, the man who you hate, you think so great. That's crazy. Clap, he gets hurt. He gets hurt, and. Hundley, you're out of here. Get him out. Hundley, get him out. We win. I, I called the Vikings. You called the Vikings to win. I thought they was gonna win with them, but you know what I mean. Still, uh, now what do they do? I mean, Hundley there. Brett Hundley, Hundley is, is nice. I think he's very underrated. I think he's a he could be a starting quarterback in this league. I think Brett Hundley is. We'll talk about it in our in our uh, week seven picks, but I think Ooh. he can he can definitely um, lead this team. What other games we have? Uh, we definitely. We look bad, yo. The Broncos. So, yo, y'all look they play calling, yo. The y'all look horrible. Their offensive play calling just looked so good. Yo, we look so the Giants. Bad. Yo, that boy, um, their running back had 100, what, 120, 130 rushing yards. <laughs> we the number one rush defense in the league right now. Y'all stop Zeke and everything. Yo, everybody. Right. Yo, we played a lot of good running backs. Right. We stopped everybody. Now, this guy, that was in, was it Doc, Doc Way? And uh, way, Orkwai, Orkwai, that, yeah, I'm, no disrespect to him, but <laughs> I, I can't pronounce it. But yo, he, yo, he looked real good. Evan Ingram looked like the man. They had no wide receivers, no Odell, no Brandon Marshall. They and they still just. I moved told you about Evan Ingram. Remember, I said he ain't a nah, tight end. Yeah, I knew. I you knew, knew that, but I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, you know, I was like, tight end. Nah, yeah, he official. But yeah, we look bad, yo. So you know what else you look bad on? What? That game of the week. Yeah, you look bad on the game of the week. This my second one. No, honestly, I, I did. I did. How did they look bad, bro? The same for the 52. Our argument was. What's up? What's up? Our argument was Drew Brees. He's home. He gonna do great. He gonna do that. Man, he threw for like 150 yards. He only threw one touchdown. He threw an interception. He didn't do nothing. This Shout out to Mark Ingram. This. Shout out to Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram ball down. You don't want to give him credit. Yo, he had like, a, he had like 130 rushing yards. He probably had like 50 something passing yards. He had like yeah, two or three two touchdowns. touchdowns. Yeah. Shout out to him. And that defense played exceptionally well. Shout out to Drew now. Brees getting the win. Like I told you. Drew Brees didn't get the win. The Saints got the win. I told you about throwing that quarterback stuff. Stop. <laughs> no, I told, I told you. That quarterback's no, I told you. Who, Drew Brees honestly, got the win. What quarterback had better numbers? Well, Matt Stafford, okay. because they was down so okay. much. Nah, nah, I don't hear that. Matt Stafford also threw how many he pick threw sixes? Three one pick six? Well, I think one pick six. Two alignment? No, he threw two. 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 <laughs> he pulled two. a big two. bit two. out there. Because the young boy, the, the rookie caught one. Right, right. Nice. But it is what it is, Yo. man. And we, 
Don't school. don't lose again. That's all I'm gonna say. If don't I lose again, again, I'm still up. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I still got wiggle room. I told you. See, when you get so far ahead, I still turn it. Ties ain't turning. I'm like, you had it. Childish. Yo. Listen, listen. This is all a childish right, segment. Um, let me talk about my like word sports minute. Um, something totally different, man. My brother, everyone that knows me knows I have a brother, uh, Andre. Shout He's only uh, 11 months younger than me. He went through some serious stuff, like, what is that? Because, like, eight years ago, um, where he had liver failure and his kidney also failed as well. Um, so he needed to have a transplant. Um, long story short, my brother has made a miraculous um, change um, where he got the um, liver transplant and the kidney transplant. And this past weekend, we got to meet the family of the people that donated the kidney. So they lost their son, you know, and his name is Luke. Um, and, um, you know, they were very uh, appreciative of Andre. And Andre was very appreciative of them. So shout out to my brother for coming along this way. He's married now. He's got kids. He's able to live his life mm -hmm. like how, he, you know, he, he, he wants to now and not being on dialysis. Dre, I love you. And I just want to give all praises to God. Shout out Dre, man. Love you, cuz. Uh, my like word sports minute. Um, bring it back to the NFL, man. That was that's that's big about with Dre though, man. Word. Talking to him, man. It's good good to be able to communicate with him so frequent now. Uh, I want to talk about the NFL officiating. Um, a lot of these added on rules, a lot of these things that they're doing, man, is it's messing the game up. Like, if you get across the pylon, you score a touchdown. If you catch the ball, you come down with it, it's a touchdown. All of this, if he falls to the ground and lets the ball go, and uh, man, that's just added extra stuff for no reason. This week, we had a, it was a couple of plays that was called like that, but a big play that it was an issue was in the Jets Patriots game. Um, uh, uh, Safarian Jenkins, he crossed the pylon, it was getting knocked out, he gained control with the other hand, crossed it, fell. You know what I mean? Had control of the ball, and they still said it wasn't a touchdown. And that was, it made no sense. And these are the kind of plays that make people feel like, um, you know, not necessarily saying that the league is rigged, but that they play favoritisms towards the favorite team, yeah, yep. like the Patriots, yep. you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Because that, that call is clearly a touchdown. And not to knock any officiating, not to knock the people in those booths that are watching all these plays, but it's so many camera angles. That if the regular... I can see that, then you guys are supposed to be professional should be able to catch those things and change those things. That's what the replays and the challenge flags and stuff are for. And I feel like y'all not getting the job done right, man. So we need to really pick that up in the NFL because that's really hurting the game a lot. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Life Word Sports. Y'all, listen, we're going to talk about what? Week 7 picks that I'm going to win? Mm -hmm. Okay. That you're not going to win. He said, yeah. Um, week 7 picks. Um, follow me on Twitter at Blog Mamba. It's JB, BCMD, underscore JBEE. -E. Listen, get involved. Make your pick. See if y'all can beat JB because y'all can't beat me. I know that for sure. I've been now. beating Reg for Listen. weeks. He's finally getting a couple wins. He's feeling himself. <laughs> Don't worry. We're getting back to the real. No more games, yo. No more playing around. It's getting real again. You know I'm winning again. You're not. Tune in Sunday, yo. Thank you.